Well, hello there. I hope you're having a great day. This is Gina B. Living Foley, where I do Dollar Tree hauls every Sunday and sometimes content in the middle of the week related to the Dollar Tree store. I absolutely love Dollar Tree. It has saved me so much money over the years. And one day I will tell you just how much it helped our family and how my husband and I, through saving and saving and saving, were able to actually purchase a home cash. So yes, there are many reasons why I love Dollar Tree and it very much contributed to our little lifestyle that we have now and uh, getting us out of debt by you know living frugally. And we continue to do that today. But nonetheless, I'm coming to you in the middle of the week with a Dollar Tree haul that is really very, very good for those who are interested in pantry stock up. So, but I also got some makeup and I got some other fun items that I'll explain in the Crafter Square section. But let's get started with this haul. Before I do, if you're new to the channel, you like Dollar Tree content, I invite you to like, share, subscribe. Please help me grow. I'm creeping up to a thousand subscribers and I really need the help. So I'm pleading for you to help me out. Um, I think I do find pretty good stuff. So yeah, stay, watch, and then if you like it, like, share, and subscribe. For those of you who have already done that and follow me regularly, I love you to pieces. Yes, I'm a little bit of a hot mess, but let's get started. Okay, you guys, this chicken noodle soup got me through my recent illness. I'm so much better. I um, had a nasal infection. Here I thought, I one, I thought I had COVID. Two, I thought I had a cold. Come to find out, it is a mold-related nasal infection that really got me. Um, I never had a fever. I worked through the whole thing, but it was rough. It was really, really rough. So this little healthy choice chicken noodle soup did the trick, got me through some rough days when I had to work. Um, I did miss one day, but it was okay. I wasn't, I wasn't scheduled too much and they were able to just like move my clients around. For those of you who don't know what I do for a living, I'm a massage therapist and I work hard. So, um, yeah, this I was able to bring to work and it really got me through, put it in a little cup with some of their oyster crackers and yeah, it really saved the day. Now, if you really do have um, sodium sensitivity, I don't recommend any of the soups from Dollar Tree. However, this one is relatively okay. And when I was ill, I was actually needing a little sodium and a little sugar lift. So um, it has 390 milligrams of sugar, I mean uh, salt, which is a lot. I mean, that's a lot. I try to stay under 200, but during my illness, this was king. It was wonderful. You don't ever add any more salted items to it and you're okay. That with a little piece of toast just was so comforting, you guys. Stock up if you can. Okay, another one that I absolutely love from the Dollar Tree because this is more at my grocery store. It's the Sweet Corn Cream Style sweet corn cream style this makes the best if when you add this to cornbread mix it makes the most delightful um it's like a corn cake my grandma used to make that um it has zero cholesterol zero fat it has 14 grams of carbohydrates and it has 340 milligrams of sodium so sodium's the deal that's what you have to really watch for but I do love it and on occasion when I want something sweet because I don't really do a lot of desserts, um, I'll, I'll go for this. I'll mix this up with a little cornbread mix, make a little corn cake, have it with a little pad of plant-based butter and some hot tea and I'm so happy. <laughs> That's all this girl needs to be happy. So yeah, the uh, 
cream style corn is wonderful. Um, I also found this canned tomatoes and okra and corn um, by Margaret Holmes. I don't know this brand, but honestly, um, this is going to go into a rice dish. So I do brown rice with beans. Sometimes I'll do white rice with uh, lots of veggies in it. Um, when I'm having an IBS flare up, I tend to run to the rice because it actually does help when you're in the throes. Now I don't eat it all the time because it's a lot of carbs and carbs create sugar, but brown rice is pretty healthy. So I'm going to do this with a brown rice, chop up the rest of my mushrooms and add some uh, asparagus to rice. And that's going to be our dinner tonight. So these are fantastic. You can add them to casseroles. Um, I really recommend if you're going to use this would go very, very well in like um, if you were doing like a southern dish with like andouille sausage, that type of thing. Gumbo, this would be great for your gumbo dishes. You just don't want to add the extra salt. This has plenty of salt in it. It's 300, it's a lot. Again, 390, that's like kind of there. For them, for, I noticed with Dollar Tree items and canned goods, great for emergencies, but I wouldn't, I don't buy canned goods from there all the time because of the salt content. My husband has an inner ear issue where he really cannot have a lot of sodium. So I stay away from a lot of canned goods, but we want to stock up during these last winter days before we go into spring um, and they make great soups. You just don't need to add the extra salt when you make a soup. This does it for you. But yeah, this has tomatoes, corn, and okra. Wonderful for a gumbo. Really good base for a gumbo. Um, I also found to put in my tea some real coconut milk. It's light. Um, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, and they have wonderful, has a wonderful coconut rice recipe on the back. So I picked it up and it's McTrader, it's by McTrader Coconut Milk and it's the light formula. So um, it only has 50 calories, five grams of fat. Um, it's cholesterol-free It only has 15 milligrams of sodium and only one gram of carbohydrates. Um, yeah, so we're good here. This is great to add to your like jasmine tea, uh, green tea, uh, you can put it in coffee, and of course you can make coconut rice. So yeah, I got that. I also found Violetti's classic zesty Italian dressing or and or marinade for your chicken. Um, it's only 15 calories, 0.5 grams of fat and two grams of sugar. Um, it's the savory collection. This is a nice big bottle, great to keep in a pantry and I'll buy it all day long for $1.25. All of these items were $1.25. My canned goods at my grocery store are a heck of a lot more than that. So very grateful to have found all of that. Now let me move all that out of the way. Move all these out of the way. But yeah, I mean, if you're in a real pinch, maybe you, you know, are running short and you really don't want to spend three to five dollars on canned goods right now, I highly recommend running to Dollar Tree. Just have to watch the sodium. Um, this was a great find, you guys. It's wonderful if you're going to marinate some chicken or turkey. Really good for poultry, um, but also very good for your salad. Um, okay, one more pantry item and then I'll show you this. But we got almond, plant-based beverage, sweetened vanilla flavored. Uh, this is just as a backup in case, um, right now we're not finding our coconut milk um, selection at our grocery store. So I picked this almond milk up. 
It is sweetened, and this is just for coffee for him, um, mm -hmm. I, my husband. I, it is vegan and gluten-free, but I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, it's got 13 grams of sugar in it, and that's quite a bit, so I try to stay away from the sugars as much as possible. But a great way to sweeten and cream your coffee, if you do coffee or tea. Uh, I did find this Oxidol powered oxygen based cleaner. This is wonderful to get in the grout. I actually add a tiny scoopful um, or maybe a teaspoonful to my um, small loads of linens for my massage linens. It cuts the grease very, very well. And then um, if you're doing a large load, I recommend a tablespoon. So there you go, I've got that. Okay, now on to some more exciting things. I have a dear friend that, um, she's a client, but she's also just a dear friend. Um, and it's her birthday coming up. And so I wanted to, get her a few things to put in a basket. And I wanna show you what I'm going to do. So first off, I'm gonna decorate this little, I got this in the crafter square section for $1.25. And I'm going to create my own essential oils um, and put them in here for her. She has pain in her neck and shoulders a lot, so I'm gonna do my own pain remedy for her. And I'm going to do um, like a lift me up. And she's been having trouble breathing so because of her allergies. So I bought Breathe for her. I did, I did. Um, this is $1.25 at the Dollar Tree by Aroma Guru. It is made with pure essential oil in the carrier oil of jojoba. So uh, the blend is excellent. I'll explain to you what's in here. It has eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, rosemary. And it's a beautiful, that's a beautiful blend if you're having trouble with asthma, breathing, coughing, lung stuff. So I'm adding this, once I decorate this, I'm gonna add that in with the other oils, okay. And then I bought her a little burner to put the oil in. So what you do when you burn uh, an essential oil is you first add a little bit of a carrier oil, something that can handle high heat. I highly recommend just a little bit of a sunflower or grapeseed oil or coconut oil is fine. Um, and then add maybe 10 drops of your pure essential oil and then I'll put in some of the Dollar Tree tea lights, but I thought this was quite classy. It would go by her bedside. And um, so I'm giving her that, and then I'm giving her these dark chocolate with cappuccino chocolates. Just a little comfort basket for her for her birthday. You guys, these are beautiful. Look at that. What a lovely way to put something in a basket. I love it. It only has 140 calories. It's cholesterol free. It only has 10 milligrams of sodium and 15 grams of carbohydrates. So I was really excited about that. Yeah, so that is a little gift for her. These were in the candy section, of course, and I'm excited to try them. One of these is for me, one is for her. And um, shall we test it? Okay. We're gonna test it. So I'm going to open this up. So it has a nice little opener here at the bottom, I believe. Yeah, you just have to loosen that up. And then you, you just get this beautiful, look how pretty. Now this would taste really good, melted in some of this coconut milk and almond milk. You just warm that up at night so you take that and the coconut milk, kind of 50-50, and you melt one of these cappuccino chocolate bars in. But I think that is quite classy looking. 
Oh yeah, baby. That is good. That is absolutely delicious. That is ever bit as good as the fancy chocolate market here in my town. Oh my God. That is amazing. When you are in the candy section, look down below. They have these really classy, nice, chocolate bars that you can bake with or just eat, put in your bag when you travel. I'm not kidding. That is absolutely delicious. And if you melted the, one of these, so I'm going to hold this up a little closer. It's by Landmark. Absolutely delicious. You guys look for this product, but you can just at night for a sweet, you just melt that in some coconut milk. What a delicious treat. And that one's mine. But this one's hers. Is it, yeah, it is Landmark Confections. Absolutely delicious. And I'll put this in here too. So I'll, I'll present this with all the little um, oils in there. And then this will go separate in a basket. I know, I just think that's so cute. This is really classy, you guys. If you live in a small space and you need just a little aromatherapy, that's wonderful. Now, these will just melt max uh, uh, wax melts, and it would also um, be perfect for their perfume oils. I just don't like to burn those on a regular basis. They can be hard on the lungs, but oh my God. So I got that, and then... I found these, you guys, these are very flexible, very, very flexible. And um, I have to finish some costuming for my dance partner and I, we belly dance. And um, I'm gonna be covering these with beautiful material and then on top of that, rhinestones. But what I love is how flexible these are. So they're not gonna hurt your head. And they've got the little teeth in there so that you can really grip and pull your hair back. And you get two for $1.25. I think that's a screaming deal. And then, this is a major find. Oh, by the way, hold on, hold on. So this is going to decorate, see that? I'm gonna add that to, uh, I think I got the glue here. How tacky glue and I'll mix a little bit of the how tacky glue which is really industrial along with some Mod Podge as you know you can get Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree you can get matte or glossy and the Crafter Square have this beautiful silver um, glitter yeah it's Crafter Square glitter Okay, has a wonderful pop top, but I'm going to be um, decorating this beautiful round with that because this lady's a diamond girl. <laughs> so we're going to diamond her up. Okay, but the how tacky and that is going to be made into a little paste with the Mod Podge and I will paint the whole box with that and then I'll be... Um, Mod Podging like a really cool sticker on the top that says happy birthday and I think she's gonna love that Oh, she's a diamond girl. This is a diamond girl all the way. All right, so I'm sorting through some things Hold on Another thing that I found in the crafter square because as we move into spring I absolutely love a uh, sidewalk art and those of you who have been following me know that I'm preparing to do my fairy garden. This is the last bit of rain that I see coming, and that's why I haven't started. But I am probably the following Sunday, which would be March 24th. I'll probably be doing my fairy garden sometime that week, just before Easter. And around... 
the area that I'm going to be doing, there will be, um, there is cement. There, there is cement and um, they're these beautiful, they're, they're not cement. I take that back. They're slate. They're slate and they're laid in um, pebble rock and it's a little walkway. Well, I want to um, sidewalk chalk those. I want to do some beautiful designs on those pieces of slate for the spring. Look how gorgeous that packaging is. It's a variegated colors or tie dyed and it's by um, Chalk It Up. What a wonderful hobby for the kids to do during spring break. I'm just saying, but I love sidewalk art and I absolutely love to paint rocks and do all that. Uh, I like to make my yard feel like a fairy tale town. So I'm going to be doing some of that along with my fairy garden. So I got a whole package of that. That is awesome. Do you know how much that is at Walmart? This is like $5 and up at my Walmart anyway. So, hey, I got it for a buck 25 great deal um my kitty is those of you who know me know Toulouse my kitty is my angel boy but he cries sometimes and he's irritated because he can't go outside in his little dog run and no he's not a dog he's a cat but he loves his dog run hey Toulouse you want to come say hi do you want to come say hi He's making his way in here slowly. He's making his way in. Come here. Come see Mama. Everybody's got to say hello to Mr. Toulouse. I had to grab him. <laughs> here he is. He is a spoiled brat. He is a spoiled brat. Spoiled. Spoiled. Mama loves him. Mama loves him. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Don't be a pill. Do you see how angry he is? He can't go outside. He wants to go outside. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yep. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi. Say hi. Hi. He's a good boy. If anybody has a cat down below, would you please put a comment and tell me your kitty's name? I love kitties. Well, I love all animals, so I don't care what you got. Tell me your pet's name. Put a comment in the comments below. <laughs> Do you ever shop at Dollar Tree for your pet? Because I shop for Toulouse there. I bought him a doggy scarf from there, and he loves it. Um, but today, he's just cranky, so I'm not bugging him too much. Say goodbye. Tell everybody bye-bye. He's going to go see his daddy. But, yeah, he's a pill today. All right, so we're in the season, and they have the equivalent to Claritin, I think. Yes, compare. No, this is comparable to Zyrtec. Tis the season, y'all. I'm telling you. I had the allergy attack from H-E-L-L, -L, and it turned into the sinus infection. I thought I had COVID. Then I thought I had a major cold and it was not because I never had a fever. I never felt sick. I had mild tummy disruption, but that was because I was swallowing so much gunk and it just upset my tummy. But I only had it for like five days. I got it under control pretty quick. Um, but I was really down the first two days. It was like, ugh, yeah. And it was all caused because I wasn't treating allergies yet. And we're already into the allergy season. So, yeah, equivalent to Zyrtec, you get 14 tablets. Screaming deal for $1.25. Compare your medicines, I'm telling you. This one is the equivalent to Allegra, which I took one of those today. What I love about Allegra is that's what they prescribe for women like me that have alopecia. So, I have two uses for it. So, yeah. Indoor outdoor allergies, you get four tablets only. So it's a sample, but I'll pay I'll buy it for a dollar twenty-five. That gets me four of those guys. I know. So basically between the two of them, I have two weeks worth of medicine, which is great. Okay, now on to some really cool things. So I found B 
because I um, wear toppers quite a bit, um, I am always looking for paraben-free, uh, silicone-free, um, sulfate-free, which this product is, um, and no mineral oil for washing my toppers. My really expensive medical grade one has its own product, but my cheaper toppers, um, I just am looking for really good, this is perfect. This is called Texture by Cantu. This is an expensive brand, you guys. It's um, for color treated hair and curls. It's a cleansing oil shampoo, gentle conditioning, cleansing, color safe and sulfate free and it's deemed it sleek. Look how pretty that bottle is. And this is going to clean my wigs and my um, um, hair topper that's, I mean, they're human hair, but they're just not expensive. I get them on Amazon. And um, I just can't, I can't afford, you know, $1,500 every time I want a topper. I have one but um, the shampoos and conditioners that they sell to go with these cheaper ones are just expensive. So for $1.25, I'll grab this all day long. And I, my um, topper is textured, so it's perfect. Yeah. And if you have really textured or curly, coily hair, you can see how coily mine is. Um, this would be a great product. I know. That's a lot. Uh, 15 fluid ounces. 15 fluid ounces. Excellent product. And then to go with it, they had this um, Cantu Shea Butter Style and Stay Frizz Free Finisher. It's weightless hold for curly or straight styles. What I love about this is my hair, this will be really friendly for my hair topper, okay? really friendly for the hair topper. Excellent product for that. No sulfates, no silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. Perfect for a hair topper. Or if you have coily, wavy hair, textured hair, and you tend to have issues with dryness or um, crunchiness from that type of product, um, regular hairsprays are really tough on, on that kind of hair. So this is a great hair, you guys. I'm just saying, really good quality, really good quality. So I got those, okay. I found something I can put in my teeny tiny purse that I'm so excited about. This is an LA Colors Mad Hatter is the nickname for it. Um, eyeshadow. And I'm just completely blown away. Uh, it's their line called Mad For You. And it's Mad Hatter. It's a brand new thing. I haven't seen it. They had other, other ones, other palettes but I didn't like any of those compared to this. This is a beautiful palette. That is a beautiful palette. And it's called Mad Hatter, Mad For You by LA Colors. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna open it and show you. Um, Put a comment in the comments below. Have you found these little tiny palettes? Now, last haul, I got my wish list palettes, the bigger palettes, um, that everybody had been hauling for at least two months and I could never find them. I got those, but um, this little one is perfect for a purse. And when you open it up, now it doesn't come with a, um, it doesn't come with an applicator but I have brushes and I have a tiny one to keep in the purse, but look at how great that is. Look at how beautiful that is. You have like a silver suede, you have like this plum charcoal, 
you have this really beautiful cocoa brown and then this uh, taupe color. Uh, the two on top are shiny and the two on the bottom are matte. This is a gorgeous combination and for $1.25 to put in your purse or to travel with, that is genius. Absolutely love it. I also found two other new items to my store. These are cream gel uh, products. This is called Sun Sunflower Cream Gel Bronzer. Very nice. And I'll take it, but and look how cute the little package. It was just on an end cap. And then they had cream gel highlighter. And this one, I cannot read it for the life of me. I don't have glasses, I can't read it. But it's a highlighter, it looks very pinky or rosy. But that that is it. And um, I can read the number of what it is. Uh, C37241, C37241. And it's a cream gel highlighter and this is the cream gel bronzer. They had a cream gel blush. Um, and the colors are all just magnificent. So even though this is a highlighter, I know this is gonna have like a peachy pinky undertone to it. So let's open it up and I'll swatch it on my wrist. Um, I love it when I find makeup products there that can go in the purse or travel with. Just a phenomenal, reasonable way to um, yeah, I don't spend a whole lot of, this is a beautiful highlighter. So this has a, a beautiful coppery peachy, you can see that, you should be able to see that. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. There it is. And then when you rub it in, when you rub it in, it's very brilliant. It's very brilliant. Wow, that is gorgeous. Now you can mix, my mom showed me a trick when I was younger before they had those sparkling kind of um, bronzer, tanner, self tanner lotions. She taught me how to mix this with regular lotion and then apply that to like this area here and here when I was a younger professional belly dancer and people always asked me, oh my God, what is that product um, that you have on? Um, but on the cheeks or on parts here, it's really good to mix this with an actual lotion, um, a highlighter and put it there. Um, for, for here, you can just put it straight on, but yeah, there's a lot of sparkle, you guys. Lots of sparkle lots of sparkle and then the bronzer i get so excited about stuff like this just so excited um i don't have a desire to spend um immense amount of money on makeup products i just don't i used to but i just don't anymore I just don't see the value in um, buying a whole line of super expensive makeup when I sweat it off every single day working as a massage therapist. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't see the value in it. Um, okay, so here's the bronzer and it looks like that. I'm gonna get the lid on right away because it, we're in uh, 2000, we're at 2000 feet and things tend to want to kind of explode. So here's the bronzer and 
this would make a really good, um, so this doesn't have a shine, it just makes you look really tan. And this would be a wonderful product. This is wonderful, because what's happening when I rub this in is it's giving like an instant tan. And if you add that to some lotion, that'll look real, look how tan all of a sudden I look. See that? That is fabulous. You could use this as a contour, um, but I just think as a natural bronzer, and then put a little bit of that highlighter on top. That's really pretty. So my partner, my dance partner, I have, and I have two performances coming up, and it's going to be really important that we have um, kind of color to our skin, and I just don't want to spend a fortune. So look at that. I mean, that just instantly gave me color. Wow. Wow. So that all around those areas where it would look like you would get sun is wonderful. And it's not super, super dark. So it's like a medium, which is perfect for someone really fair. I have fair olive skin. Um, I get really dark in the summer, but I stay out of the sun now at my age. But yeah, that's a good product, you guys. So I got those. And I think that's everything for today. I came to you midweek, and I am just so happy that you decided to stay and watch. By the way, I want to show you what I did with some Dollar Tree items. So I bought some of their little lights and their eggs and greenery and a little basket. And this is in the center of my kitchen table, and it just shows so pretty. It, I just kind of angled this here, and I have a little bunny sitting next to it. Um, and I absolutely love it, and I wanted to show you that I just stuffed the fairy lights inside, put all the little eggs on top, and I did some of the cute little eggs that have the spots in them, too. So all of that was under, you know, so for under seven bucks, you know, I was able to make a pretty decoration, and I had to show you that. Um... But with that being said, I wish you all a beautiful day. I will be back on Sunday with another Dollar Tree haul. And I hope you're doing well and that you're healthy and happy and that things are going good for you. Um, and again, I'll see you next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye now.